Well, today marks one year into the 2024 Summer Olympics. It's going to kick off in Paris. And as we count down the days tonight, we're going to catch up with three-time Olympic gold medalist and track star Gail Devers. 11 Alive's Brittany Kleinpeter met her at Mountain View High School in Gwinnett County, where she's now a coach, to talk about the hurdles she's faced both on and off the track. From the Uggs to the nails. This is like a lavender. It's kind of thick because I didn't like uh, do it the way I should have done. Everything about Gail Devers makes a statement. I have to have shoes that get up and go with me when I have to get up and go. It could be running boots, whatever boots, just as long as they're boots. And what's in her boots is a five-time Olympian who was a dual threat in sprints and hurdles. The last gold medal for the 100 meters for women was mine in 1996. That's a long time for USA. Devers won her first gold medal in 1992, where she says she faced her toughest opponent ever. And I remember like it was yesterday. He said, and champion the mundo from USA, Gail Devers. And I, like, I took off on my victory lap. And he was like, slow down. He's like, slow down, you gotta savor the moment. I'm like, you gotta come on because you don't know what I've gone through. The newly crowned gold medalist had just been diagnosed with Graves' disease. Eye pain, bulging, redness, a weight loss for me was a big deal, especially as an athlete. She says it took years for doctors to figure out what was wrong, at one point being told she might have to have her feet amputated. After that two and a half years being diagnosed and then going out months later winning my very first gold medal. She had overcome the impossible, but her fight wasn't over yet. The one night, it was, I was driving at nighttime and the lights from the cars coming at me were blinding. And I searched the website, found out that I had, it's called thyroid eye disease. A common disease associated with Graves, but unrelated. Devers just recently discovered she had been suffering from both for the last several decades. She's now using July, Graves Disease Awareness Month, to make a statement. I'm a sprinter and I'm supposed to get to that finish line first. But I've taken the marathon route <laughs> and I don't want anybody else to have to do that. So that others don't have to go through what she's been through. Man, what an amazing story how she came, overcame so many odds. And we know she's living a happy, healthy life with her husband and her two daughters. But we're hearing that her daughters may be following in her footsteps, huh? I think they're both going to be somebody we have to watch. Her oldest, Carson, uh, will be a freshman at UGA this fall. She was offered uh, several chances at other universities, but she did choose Georgia. She holds the school record at Mountain View for about 100, 200, and long jump. And then her youngest daughter, Legacy, also attends Mountain View. She runs the 200, 400, and long jump. So keep your eyes, high, eyes out for them for sure. And I'm sure that's a proud mom too. Oh yeah. Absolutely. She's out there coaching them, too. So she's like, you know, we had to get another training in last night before I met you this morning with the girls, <laughs> but they're an awesome family. Well, she's modeling it for them and we wish them the best of success. We certainly do. Now we are going to post additional information about the symptoms of Graves disease and TED on our website, 11alive.com. Important information for everyone to check out.